Now, I want to say something. Tonto DK had nothing to do with this. I don't... Can, can you confirm that? I think she did all the stuff she was ranting about for clout. She had nothing well, to do with this. Am I correct? Well, actually... So, you guys, Tonto DK X boyfriend Popo Gris has come out to explain and to reveal everything that happened between he and Tonto DK and also the issue of FCDA demolishing his house on the hilltop in Abuja. So last week rumor or not rumor because it was obvious he was on live, he was actually showing people all that was happening. So this is his house in here you're seeing. We saw that FCDA came in according to them that the house was built on the wrong place and we're demolishing the house starting from the gates it was being demolished by the fcda government fcda government is the federal capital development authority that the ones that developed the capital of nigeria which is abuja and in doing that they tend to take away houses that are built by the roadside where they want to construct a a federal road a federal construction anything that has to do with federal if your house or anything you have your structure anything a stand or whatever it is is in that position it will have to be removed for them to do what will be beneficial to the country as a whole so according to what Boko Gray said in this video that his house is built on a hilltop it's not close to the road and lots of people are building around the environment so he doesn't know why they actually came to do this to his house and whoever had this planned he would get to the root of it so you can see at some point the military men or uniform that were present had to stop the demolition and ask them to stop that they shouldn't do it again so we're going to go on a tour around Boko Gris house where he showed us what is happening and how he is packing his things out of the house already so that when next they come they wouldn't have you know that to demolish the house, he won't have to lose everything. According to him, that there was no prior notice. That no one notified him and told him that, okay, this and that was supposed to happen in your house. So he didn't know about it. They just came on that particular money and started doing their job. Usually, the FCDA notifies the occupants of an environment and lets them know that, okay, this also thing is going to be happening in social areas, so you people should... Pick out your things who are coming here for so so time from so so time to so so time for this purpose. So he wasn't given a prior notice, he just woke up and saw them doing this. And he said he spent over 700 million naira in, in this particular construction. Yes, meanwhile, Poko Gri is Tonto to Dickie's ex boyfriend. They, they had been a relationship that went viral. that people were even assuming that Tonto DK is pregnant for him. So when this happened, Tonto DK reacted in some manner that she wrote some things on the internet and said a whole lot. <laughs> and so people started attributing it to her that she was behind the whole thing. But you guys were going to be reading some of the things she wrote and Popo Green himself has come out to reveal that no, she has no hand in what happened to his building in Abuja. Watch a video of Popo Green taking us around the house to show us how the house looks like and everything he's taking out now. Look at people, everybody are still building. So I don't know where they got this order from. I don't know where this authority came from, but I will get to the root of this matter. Look at my house everywhere. Look at my cinema room. This is my cinema room. See my cinema room? Scattered. I spent over 700 million in building this particular building. Over 700 million that I put in this project. You know, I paid everything, everything that, that I need to be paid to the government. Bros, thank you. Eh? I paid everything that needs to be paid to the government before I started this project. Just of his suddenly, because I refused to sell my property, Sorry. it now become a crime that somebody will just wake up and order that. Uh, the uh, 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 according to what the man told me, say it is the FCT minister that gave the order. 
just want the world to know what is happening. By the F after them to evacuate all my property from the place. So you guys, this is what turned to DK Road when Boko Gray came on live to tell the world what was happening to him and his house. So Sonto DK said, when you mess with the wrong woman, you get all you deserve. Goes back to sleep. Now dancing equerry dance to the federal government of Nigeria, Federal Capital Development Authority. She went on to say, anyone waiting for me to stop laughing is a complete joker. I can't and I will never sympathize with this man. It's his cross. He should carry it. This man almost nailed me financially, emotionally and, emotionally and otherwise. I had, if I had done anything to myself, who would have come out to say one or two things? So now that she's alive, let her laugh or audio. It would have been two weeks to two weeks to goodbye. Yes, yeah, so she said people that have forgotten her after two weeks, they would just publish her on internet and say, Yeah, don't do decay. This one happened to her, that one happened to her. They will say, Ah, maybe she has taken this one and that. They will not even do anything more than that. So now that she's alive, let her laugh at her ex boyfriend, Popo Gray. But the 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 good news is that don't the case not involved in anything pertaining to that it was the federal capital or development authority that did that to his house and not don't to decay and she's not involved in any way that's just the truth are uh, you guys watch his revelation in a conversation or an interview with popular uh, journalist kemi olunloye and please, you guys, subscribe, like, and share this video. Let people get to know. People, people so many people are already blaming Don't to Decay for what happened to Coco Gris' house or mansion because the house is so beautiful and big. You see him making videos and doing his life in that video. It's a very big mansion, something that somebody spent up to 700 million in building. Ah, no, be small house. So. so let's listen to his conversation with popular journalist Kemi. Olundu, the mama in charge. She's already looking very old. Wow, age can you cannot deny it. <laughs> Watch the video, guys. Now I want to say something. Tonto DK had nothing to do with this. I don't can, can you confirm that? I think she did all the stuff she was ranting about for clout. She had nothing well, to do with this, am I correct? Well, actually, I don't <laughs> I don't even want to say anything about that girl at all. I don't even want to say anything. But the truth is that she has nothing to do with the issue at all. She has nothing to do with it. Okay. That's all. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you guys for watching. Tell us what you think about this on the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you.